Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to talk about typical clownfish behavior when there's two females in the same tank. As you can see, there's three in this tank uh, currently. Uh, I do have the two, fem uh, two paired clownfish that's been in here for six, seven months, which are the two bottom ones, as you see on the screen, and the one on the top, the larger one, that's the female uh, that I added a couple days ago. Uh, as you can see in the beginning of the video and almost right now, you see that? So uh, there are um, typical, you know, um, aggression going on here. Uh, I only added this female because there's the anemone in this tank and it was doing really well. Uh, I originally put in a total of two, one female and one male, but this one's male was bullied so I had to take it out and it seems like after the male got removed, this female is getting bullied too. Uh, it's honestly never a good idea to add three uh, clownfish in a tank that's as beautiful as this one because this kind of bullying can happen. Uh, one of the reasons why this kind of bullying happens is because mainly from my experience, there is just um, two females in the tank. Uh, as you can see, the one that you're seeing right now in the middle screen, that one is, I believe, the female of the pair. And that the one that it's being aggressive to is also definitely a female. So if you have um, maybe three or more clownfish in the fish tank and they're being aggressive to one another, I would suggest no matter what, if they're male or female, I suggest that you remove them from the tank immediately because um, that kind of aggression can grow and become a very large issue. Like uh, these guys can get hurt. Uh, the fins will start like ripping and they'll you know they won't eat they won't swim as much they'll be more timid than before and keep on getting bullied as you can see right now until they die uh, that's how aggressive these guys are clownfish are known to be very aggressive the ones that you see in my fish tank these guys are the ocellaris the common uh, false forget the quite i kind of, kind of forget the name but it's the false uh, clownfish, uh, it's the typical Nemo's that you see uh, and that, that you enjoy. But yeah, I just added this large female in the tank just to see how it does with the anemone. Uh, it ended up hosting the anemone after a couple of hours. Uh, the one over there on the left side, but you know, now that it's all alone in the tank without its male partner, it's just constantly getting bullied as you can see. So what I'm going to do is remove these uh, this female from the tank immediately and put it back into a tank where it came from. Um, although this tank does have like a really good anemone that the clownfish likes, uh, the longer I keep it, the, the worse the bullying will get because these two right there, they'll just constantly bully this one uh, until it either gets very hurt or just simply die. Because these two clownfish has been here for for a couple of months, you know, six seven months, and um, you know this new female clownfish hasn't. So uh, as you can see, you know throughout this video, there's that aggression going on, um, and it's definitely not recommended to keep this going on. I just discovered this, that's why I'm filming this video. But I'll definitely get this, you know, whole video. Um, and take it into an advice that it's never good to keep three clownfish in a tank and if you see such aggression in your clownfish tank with three or more clownfish definitely remove it and if you guys have any other questions regarding this um, leave it down in the comment section if you like this video press like and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you bye bye